All right, now a, a change of subject onto a very serious subject and, and we feel for everyone in the royal family uh, devastating news this morning. Uh, Princess Kate um, battling cancer. Oh, cancer diagnosis for any family mm. and individual is shattering. Uh, but families rally around at a time like this. She'll be receiving all the love and support able to be given to her, but um, it, it is a very, very testing physically, emotionally and psychologically time for anyone, anyone in that situation. Because they are seen as the shining light, aren't they, in the future of the royal family? Very much so. Oh, un unquestionably, they are the future. Charles and Camilla are doing a brilliant job and will do so for uh, as long as we, we hope they can, but the fact is they are aligned to a different era. Yeah, well, please God, everything will be OK. Correct. There. At the moment, she's saying it's, uh, it's, and it was a very strong message that she got. Now, changing subjects and getting back to Australia, um, how do you see the debate on nuclear energy going right now? Well, I think Peter Dutton's doing well. Um, he's had the courage of his convictions. Uh, he has a united team on the issue. Um, it makes sense uh, environmentally, but and, and energy supply, uh, economic... Do you think the government's enjoying the little battle with it? Look, they would be in two minds. Mm. On, on the one hand, they think it's a distraction away from their key messages about renewables, but on, on the other hand, they, the, they know that there's too much logic mm. behind it to completely ignore it. And funny enough, the greatest supporters of at least a debate, which Labor is denying uh, the, the opposition at the moment, is from young people. Overwhelmingly, Generation Z and the millennium, millennials want to debate the issue and consider it, and, a, and there is a body of support for it from them. So Dutton has tapped into uh, a young person's issue. Mm, be interesting to watch. Look, at another story that's getting plenty of uh, front-page news, China's foreign minister and the visit and the extraordinary meeting with Paul Keating. It's yeah. all... Uh... It's all quite clandestine at times, isn't it, this story? Uh, uh, look, it's sad to see Paul mm. Keating re reduced to a, a supine acolyte of, of a Chinese dictatorship, and that's what they are. They're, it's a brutal dictatorship domestically and internationally. Paul Keating has a lot of interesting things, at least, if not uh, sensible, about the Australia-US alliance. He, he is a sceptic, if not a cynic. Fair enough. Uh, it's, it's not a perfect alliance because neither country is perfect. But he finds no fault with China, Tim. Nothing. China does nothing wrong. It doesn't oppress anybody. It's not aggressive. It doesn't have expansionist plans. And, w and we know that from the Uyghur people from Hong Kong. Scott, Hong Kong's just been reduced to um, a satellite city of China now. Uh, Macau's next, mm. by the way. Uh, what they're doing in the South China Sea is... Is, is breach in breach of all international um, laws. So that's my concern about Mr Keating. He, he, he is a completely uncritical supporter of China.